In this video, you will learn how to perform detection of genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, by PCR. This activity will allow you to determine whether foods purchased from the grocery store contain genetically modified or GM crops. The following procedure will allow you to extract template DNA from foods that you purchase at the store. Label one screw cap tube containing instagene matrix, test, and the other, non-GM. Weigh your food sample from the grocery store and record the mass. Put the food sample into a mortar. Add 5 milliliters of distilled water for every gram of food. Since our sample weighed 1 gram, we are adding 5 milliliters of distilled water. Grind the food with the pestle for at least two minutes to form a slurry. Add another five milliliters of distilled water for every gram of food. Mix and grind further with the pestle until the slurry is smooth enough to pipette. Use a graduated 1 milliliter transfer pipette to transfer 50 microliters of ground slurry to the screw cap tube, labeled test. Recap the tube and shake or vortex to mix. Repeat this extraction process using the certified non-GM food. Prior to extracting another sample, it is important to wash the mortar and pestle with soap, wipe it with 10% bleach, rinse it well with tap water, and do a final rinse with distilled water. The mortar and pestle are a potential source of PCR contamination and must be thoroughly cleaned before each use. Incubate the non-GM and test screw cap tubes at 95 degrees Celsius for five minutes. Place the tubes in a centrifuge in a balanced configuration and centrifuge for five minutes at maximum speed. If you are using a mini centrifuge that can only reach 2000 G's, centrifuge for 10 minutes. This is a good stop point for this activity depending upon your lab schedule. The samples can be stored at four degrees Celsius for up to a month but do not freeze the samples. To set up your PCR reactions, you will need your tubes with extracted DNA template from non-GM food and your test sample. You will also need a GMO positive control DNA and six PCR tubes. Set your micropipette to 20 microliter. Always use aerosol barrier tips when setting up PCR reactions to prevent transferring aerosols from the pipette to the sample. The master mix should be kept on ice until you are ready to use them. The plant master mix is green. Pipette 20 microliters of plant master mix into the corresponding labeled PCR tube for each DNA sample. The GMO master mix is red. 
pipette 20 microliters of the GMO master mix into the corresponding labeled PCR tube for each DNA sample. Using a fresh tip each time, pipette 20 microliters of the indicated template DNA to each PCR tube. Make certain when you are obtaining your DNA sample that you are drawing from the upper supernatant and not from the pellet of instagene matrix at the bottom of each tube. The instagene matrix will inhibit the PCR reaction. After pipetting the DNA into each set of tubes, close the caps to prevent contamination. Repeat this process with the other DNA samples.